Hello to there, random viewer. This is John. He's dyslexic, legally blind, and not Japanese. So if you don't like mispronunciations of monsters' names, you might want to click off this video and go somewhere else. And if you're someone who attacks someone verbally and tries to discredit them because he mispronounced one word, hey, go eat a bag of dick. Okay, hey everyone, John here with another Monster Hunter video. I actually wanted to make today's video about the top five favorite Elder Dragons in Monster Hunter. Keep in mind that all these monsters are monsters from the Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, Portable 3rd, and Tri Games. Because I have not played any of the other ones like on 3DS really very much, so I really don't know much about them. So it would be kind of unfair to put them in this list. Also keep in mind that these are my monsters. Jonathan Rodriguez, me. My favorite Elder Dragons, not yours. However, if you have a list of your own, leave it in the comments down below. You can do a top 5, top 10, up to you. But anyway, let's get started. Number 5, the Lao Sheng Lung. So, the Lao Sheng Lung was actually on my top 5 favorite monsters list. So, I'm gonna keep this part kind of brief. But, the Lao Sheng Lung's on this list mainly because he was the first Elder Dragon I ever fought. And he was also the one that gave me the biggest fear when I was a kid just because how big he was. And it gave me that huge fear and excitement. So, I kind of have to put him on this list just out of the fact that it took me 40 minutes to kill this thing by smacking it in the dick over and over and over again. But yeah, that's why it's number 5. Number 4, Fateless. When you think dragon, usually something that looks like this motherfucker comes on your mind. The Fateless is usually a black dragon with a long ass neck, tail, and large flapping wings. The body is covered in hard black scales mixed with kind of white spines in there too. The head has four awesome looking horns. This massive fucking monster screams dragon. It is just so cool looking. I actually don't have too many stories about this thing. It was that one monster that forced me to just use a heavy bowgun to, to kill it. Because I, could, I couldn't do it with the greatsword or a gun lance. I had to use a heavy bowgun to actually force me to use ranged weaponry. Which was the first time in Monsters of History for me personally that I ever even switched to a long range weapon. But yeah, this is it's an amazing monster. It looks amazing. And it forced me to realize that I need to get out of my comfort zone. Even though I love my goddamn comfort zone. Don't 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 make me leave my comfort zone. <laughs> Number three, Kishaladora. Oh boy! The Kishaladora is a special monster to me. You know that one that keeps wiping your entire hunting party? That one. That's the one that kept wiping us all out over and over and over again. This is the one that was a huge wall to me as a 10 year old boy for a long time. My 10 year old mind was blown away by this thing's stupid ability to have that wind wall around it. It kept it safe and it just surrounded it the entire time. It was really annoying. But this thing forced us to sit down and make an actual plan. Well, as well as 10 year olds can make a plan and we actually came up with one and we're about to execute it until one of our PSPs died from battery loss <laughs> so after we charged our batteries we went back in there and actually executed our plan of eventually working and we killed the thing and it was one of those times where me and the guys realized that communication planning is what makes a good hunter and ever since then we have been better at communicating with cooperative games. So, so that's why the Castle Door is number 3. Number two, Alatrion. <laughs> this f 
fucking thing! I like the pain. I still feel the sweat on my hands from fighting this thing when- Oh god! Okay, quick recap. Uh, me and my- fr me and one of my buddies actually played Monster to Try on the Wii. And after a couple of- after a couple days of playing, we realized three out of every ten hunters actually knows what they're doing on the Wii. At least for us. And no, I'm not saying that the people on the Wii suck at playing Monster Hunter. I'm just saying the ones we played with suck at playing Monster Hunter. So, you can imagine how incredibly annoying and hard it was for me and my friend to carry a team with two idiots that just didn't know what they were doing. And it was goddamn annoying. However, we did eventually bring this thing down, but oh my god, it was such a pain in the butt. But it was so much fun though at the same time, because this thing had four separate elements! Ice, lightning, fire, and dragon. And it was just terrifying to fight. And it was one of the first times I actually felt like Try was really good. Like, when I first played Try on the, uh, on the Wii, it was really easy for me. I really blew through that game for the most part until I got to that fucking thing and then Difficulty level spike, but yeah, it was one of those things where we realized that we had to depend on ourselves and Also be more nitpicky about people that we hunt with <laughs> Also, just look at this thing design wise. It looks amazing. It's armor and weapons are pretty good, too So what else can you ask for? Honorable mention, the Nuragante. Oh yeah, look at this thing, the power, the armor, the weapons, it's so cool, it's ability to regenerate. Oh yes! <laughs> but the game is not out yet, and it's not fair for me to put it on this list to be, you know, at all, because I have never fought it. Or I have so I also don't know what its armor is, what armor abilities are, so, yeah. Can't put it on the list. But if I could put it on the list, it'd probably be number two or one. We will see. Number one, Tiastra. Tiastra? Tiastra? Tiria? Tiastra. 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 Yeah. Okay, so look, I'm a simple, simple man with simple needs. I like fire. I fucking love fire. Fire is my favorite element. And plus, it looks amazing, to be honest. Purple and red and yellowish looking dragon. It reminds me of Spyro the Dragon when I was a kid, and I it, it, it tickled my nostalgia boner. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. And it just the design wise, it looks amazing. And I like its blue version too, though. I think it's a lady version of it, but I like this one way better, just because you know, it just looks looks really cool. But yeah, it's just awesome to fight. It wasn't like the hardest thing to fight either. It was okay. It like like the Kshal like the Kshaldora, It has a aura. A fire around it, so if you get too close, you actually start losing HP just by being around it. So that was a pain in the ass. But it's just a really fun, cool looking dragon that I really enjoyed fighting. Plus, it has a fucking dragon beard. Look at that, it's so cute. Also, the English title for this thing, I just looked this up right now, is the Fucking Flame King Dragon. Fuck you, fairy tale. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Uh, I actually put a lot of effort into it. When I got some feedback from my other videos, I actually tried to be a little more cheerful in this video, kind of throwing it out there. I don't know if you guys know, it's a little more energetic. I just got home from work and I'm trying to just push myself to have more energy in these videos. I'm trying to save more on scripts and actually not fuck up when I'm talking verbally. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this in the video. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments down below. And if you guys want to see more, subscribe to our channel for more. Also, if you guys want to see, I keep saying also. I know I said also like 20 times in this video, so sorry about that. So if you guys want to see more Monster Hunter, we have a playlist of Monster Hunter right there in the right. And if you guys want to see something similar to Monster Hunter but not quite, it's also made by Capcom. Check out our Dragon's Dogma playthrough. We're currently on part 22-ish, 23, something around there. But yeah, see you guys next video. Bye.